All right, I've finally gotten around to doing an update of my video here on the case cutter. And you can see I've got some mocked up uh, guards and uh, shoots here with just some cardboard and duct tape and masking tape I had lying around. Uh, so I've got them going down into my little buckets here. I've replaced, this is the uh, little motor that came in the Harbor Freight chop saw and it was getting more and more and more tired and I had to keep uh, turning the thing off. It would jam up uh, on the shells and it was starting to go real slow. So um, in search of a new motor, I came up with one uh, online. It was about, I think it was about 60 bucks. Uh, but it goes a little bit faster and it's a little bit stronger. So now I can, you know, if you looked in the old video, I had the little adjustment here. And I had these marks of where I could, uh, how fast I could run the drum so I wouldn't jam up the motor. But now this thing will, uh, it'll cut through these things almost faster than I can get them on to the, the drum. So I loaded a few on here. I'll turn it on and, uh, and you can see how fast it goes. And I, I've got the two different shoots. So now, yeah, some of the people commented um, about, you know, separating uh, the heads from the bodies and... Uh, it was just getting to be a real pain with a bucket full of these things having to pick through the, the necks and stuff. So, all right, here we go. So you can see it goes a lot faster than the old one um, and that motor barely even uh, slows down when it hits one of these shells. Um, I really don't even need the rheostat anymore to control the speed of the drum. It, it's going as fast as it, it could go. Um, the, the little blades that I use are from Harbor Freight. I think they're three inch blades. And it says maximum RPM on those things is like 13,000. Well, this motor says it'll go 19,000. So I got, and it's an AC motor. So I had to get this uh, variable frequency drive, um, again, off of Amazon. So one's for DC, one's for AC. Um, there's a little bit difference there. Um, I just got it mocked up and I've got it set at about uh, three quarter speed because I'm still using the little uh, gear and drive belt from the Harbor Freight um, chop saw. So I didn't want those things going that fast and uh, possibly snapping and then I'd have to buy another chop saw and get the parts and stuff like that. So you could probably source them someplace else, but um, why replace something that already works? So um, anyway, this is, a, this is a tenth of a horsepower. Um, Maximum RPM is like I said, like 19,000, and they sell these. Uh, I think they're for, um, I think it's like vacuum cleaners and stuff like that. But and it already had the proper rotation, so I didn't have to go in there and rewire it. Um, so um, even better. So anyway, uh, that is the update. And um, you know, some people recommend that I patent this thing, and you know, uh, uh, that's a lot of work, and I don't care. And you guys can make this thing if you want. Um, I won't. I won't come after you for royalties. So, um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it.